Hello everyone. Here in this post, we would like to consider the use of the dimensional formula explanation, which is nothing but establishing a relation between the physical quantities using a dimensional analysis. Here also, of course, we are using a concept of principle of homogeneity, which tells you that uh, the dimensions of uh, LHS side of the equation shall be equal to the dimensions of the RHS side of the equation. So, we are going to use principle of homogeneity. Then how do you find a relation between the physical quantities? I will explain it by taking an example. This is the problem that we would like to consider. We want to express the velocity of a gas molecule in terms of the pressure experienced by the gas medium and the density of the gas medium. So what is given to us in the problem is simply velocity of a gas molecule depends on pressure power of unknown dimensions, we do not know to what power it depends and the density power of y. But of course, proportionality can be eliminated with a constant, that constant is not going to have any dimensions, that is not a worry in terms of dimensions. Now let me try to write the dimensions, dimensional formula, we know velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement nothing but lt power minus 1 pressure you know pressure is defined as force acting on a body per unit area force is again mass into acceleration area can be expressed in terms of square of length m acceleration is rate of change of velocity by l square so pressure has a dimensions of l power plus 1 and minus 2 like this Density, we know density is defined as mass per unit volume, so m by l cube or m power minus 3. Now I can write this dimension formulas in the above equation. L t power minus 1 on the LHS is equal to pressure m l power minus 1 t power minus 2 power of x density ml power minus 3 power of y. Now, we can rearrange the terms of LHS and RHS. Let us try to rearrange the terms. LT power minus 1 equal to here m power x is there, here m power y is there. I can write m power x plus y. Here L power minus 1 is there into x that means L power minus x. Here L power minus 3 y is there and here t power minus 2 x is there that is it. But when I write these two equations are equal they are supposed to be dimensionally equal. They are dimensionally equal means dimensions of the length has to be the dimensions of the length dimensions of the time has to be the dimensions of the time dimensions of the mass has to be the dimensions of mass taking that into consideration along the lhs side dimensions of mass is not there that means actually it is m power 0 so we can say equating dimensions of mass I am just equating the dimensions because this equation is supposed to be correct as per the principle of homogeneity. So let us equate the dimensions of both LHS side and RHS side. Equating the dimensions of mass, we can write x plus y equal to 0. That implies x is equal to minus y. One conclusion we have got. Equating the dimensions of uh, length minus x minus 3y is equal to 1 and then equating the dimensions of the time minus 2x equal to minus 1 so x equal to a half put that x equal to half here in fact I need not solve this equation at all why why because I already got x equal to minus y y equal to minus x it is nothing but equal to minus half. 
So I can directly substitute even if you solve you will be getting the same. What is that? Velocity equal to some k. Pressure power x. x is nothing but half. Density power y. That is nothing but equal to minus half. So I can write an equation simply. Velocity equal to some constant root of pressure by density. This is how we can find a relation between the physical quantities using the dimensional analysis. So, dimensional analysis, dimensional formula writing has three uses. Checking the correctness of a given equation, converting a physical quantity, numerical value from one system to another and finally, finding the relation among the physical quantities itself. Right? Thank you.